my pictures have this great sense of place. Place, setting, geography is so important. So relocating here, having my home in the church and my studio right next door in an old firehouse has made an extraordinary difference both in my life and my art. I don't think it's a coincidence that I live in a church, the body of works is called Cathedral of the Pines. It was really important for me that this body of work was very intimate. I wanted to work with a small crew on location to get that sense of detail of real spaces and real places. Cathedral of the Pines, there were so few of us, we became very close with one another. We really became friends and family. I was wearing a lot of different hats, and I was oftentimes working on the set right up until the moment I actually stepped onto the set as a subject. For the first time, I wanted to include people that were close in my life, and there are certain pictures where certain subjects reemerge. It's really about creating a world that feels both real and imagined. It does represent a rebirth in a sense, a reconnection to my work, both on an aesthetic level and a psychological level. These pictures I think come closest to describing my story than any other body of work I've made previously. They're the most intimate, the most private, the most personal, and they're closest to my heart. I really have such a clear memory of the day when we kind of came to this clearing. Just something about like the light coming through the trees and he said, this reminds me of when I was a kid. I saw this look come over his face and it was just like some kind of like connection with his past and with being alive and being out in the woods. And we literally then came upon the sign that said Cathedral of the Pines. And it was just really like this magical moment. I think first and foremost, I consider myself a storyteller, but photographs in general tell a very restricted story. We're actually standing at camera location right here, looking out into this expanse. And we had these brush cleared here so we could see the bridge and underneath it. In these pictures, I was very conscious of attempting to say in a literal way almost nothing. I wanted almost exclusively the meanings to reside on light and atmosphere and color. I just want enough of the story to bring the viewer in and to create a sense of mystery. But certainly there's no answers in these pictures, they're just questions.